The official vigil for the late four-star general has been held today at his home in Nakasero and this will be followed by national prayers to be held at Kololo ceremonial grounds tomorrow. There has been mass that was led by different reverends from All Saints Church in Nakasero. The religious leaders applauded the late general Tumini for taking part in the liberation struggle. As we see this body here, the general is not dead. He has entered a true life. He has entered true victory. Yes, he was a soldier. He was a warrior. But that could not attain his victory in heaven. It is only here. You win the victory today. Tomorrow you are fighting again. And that is why we have said to it all over. Because we do not have victory here. All only victory we have is in glory. We will not need security in heaven because we are secure in the hands of heaven. Hallelujah. The religious leaders have advised the mourners to work towards their final destination. We see our elder brother silent, no longer smiling, no longer singing. We are reminded, friends, that we need to wash our robes in the blood of the Lamb. And after washing the blood, the blood of the Lamb, what does he say? That therefore they are before the throne of God and they serve him day and night in the temple. And he who sits on the throne will shelter them with his presence. They shall hunger no more, neither thirsty anymore. Friends, the permanent shelter that each one of us has is in heaven. The prayers were attended by a number of dignitaries, leaders, family members, among others. The NRM party has been represented by the Deputy Secretary General of the National Resistance Movement, Rose Namayanja. The Ame sang songs that Eli Tumwine used to sing during the war as a way of remembering him. <laughs> Afandem zei jeshi jeshi awa naichi ali songa bitani bigani ya those who were supported by the late general, like James Kamontu, amid tears, explained how the late general supported them through education. Where we are right now, we can sustain ourselves. He's educated us at Shreveba Kazi. He's he's done. Everything that a father should do. Dr. Wale Namara, who has been treating the deceased ever since he was shot in the eye, told mourners that God has watched over him and is grateful that he lived for all this time. People who are writing, whining, and dining, it is because of the willingness, willingness to, it's not that any soldier wants to die, no, but they are willing to stake their lives in the line of fire so that Uganda can drink a cup of coffee, so that Namara can sit here and tell his story. And let me tell you, Tumwina may be alone, may have gone and moved on, but his spirit is still very much alive. After all, soldiers never die, they just fade away. Tumwine died on Thursday in Nairobi and his body was returned to the country on Friday evening and taken to a funeral home at the Bombo Military Hospital. The official vigil for the late four-star general has been held today at his home in Nakasero. A requiem mass will be held tomorrow at Kolo Independence Grounds and thereafter his body will be transported to the ancestral home in Mukuru Remikoma Subcounty in Kazo District. On Tuesday 30th, a funeral service will be held at the deceased country home in Mokuru and thereafter Barrio. Download the app on App Store or Google Play Store now. Vision Digital Experience, the future of media.